How you doing? My name is Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Just want to discuss the Hertz H8 DSP quickly. It is our favorite, hands down our favorite uh, DSP in the shop. Um, this and the Rockford DSR1 are the two entry level DSPs that we offer. Uh, the DSR1, just because of its size, DSR1 cannot match the features of this DSP. They're not meant to compete with each other. It's just that the size of the DSR1 and the fact that it's Bluetooth makes it the most popular option for motorcycles. It's You don't have enough real estate to be able to really mount these on most of the bikes. The amplifiers that we used on the bikes are about the same size. But um, feature per dollar, I believe the HA DSP is just under $500 retail. For anything that we're authorized to carry, there's nothing that comes close. Um, it's basically an Audison Bit 10 on steroids. It has optical input, eight output channels. It has a factory DEQ feature, so it can help flatten the factory EQ curves. It's got two memory presets. It's for the money, it's the most powerful DSP that we offer. Uh, especially if you have an aftermarket radio, because if you have an aftermarket radio, the fact that it only has four inputs won't be a hindrance. Uh, this has auxiliary input and five high or speaker level or RCA level inputs. It offers speaker level turn on. It's I can't think of another unit on the market that has the same features that comes in at under 500 bucks retail. This is by far, by far our best selling DSP. Our favorite package to use with it is a Amp Pro with the Toslink output or a Nav TV Zen module with top link output so then you can do a T-harness behind the factory head unit and get the best sound quality possible because you use the digital output into the digital port. So you have digital input into the unit and then eight fully customizable programmable RCA outputs. Um, we do a lot of active setups in the shop so this if we're doing an active three-way setup and a subwoofer this has enough output channels so you would use six in the front and then uh, seven wouldn't be used and then use eight for your sub. Our other favorite DSPs would obviously be the Bit 1 HD and the Helix MK2 Pro. Um, Helix by far is the most powerful DSP that we offer. For the top tier installs that we do, that's our go-to DSP. But for our everyday bread and butter, Hertz H8 is really hard to beat. I can't think of, uh, seriously, if in the comments, if you know of another DSP that retails for just under $4.99 that's as powerful as the Hertz H8, let me know. Um, it, we can offer a lot of value to the clients because you're getting a lot for 500 bucks. And that's about it. Check it out. We have it installed in a couple of cars at the shop. If you want to come and take a listen, we'll give you a quick walkthrough. Thank you. See you next week.